One year ago, I sold a fake pair of sneakers on StockX. They failed authentication, and thousands of people asked me to do it again. They said if I used a different sneaker, something less expensive, less rare, maybe a better fake, they would have passed. And after months of consideration, it's time. This is the StockX experiment. Again. I already explained what StockX is in the first video, so to save time, I'm not going to do it again. If you're unfamiliar, definitely check out that first video. It's annotated up here. Okay, I'm going to give you three seconds to click the link. Two, one. All right. Finding the right shoes is the most important part of this entire thing. Given that seemingly everyone wanted me to do it with a pair of Yeezy 350s, that was the logical place to start. So I went to Canal Street, home of people who sell fake things. Unfortunately, their fakes were bad. Terrible, if I'm honest. So I went somewhere else. Instagram. I get probably two or three messages every week from companies that sell fake shoes and want free promotion on my YouTube channel. 90% of the time, I just block them. But given that I was looking for a pair of fake shoes, this was a perfect opportunity. So I had one of them send me a pair of Yeezy 350s. And like a month and a half later, I got a black package. They didn't double box, which meant the shoebox itself arrived in pretty rough shape. A cardinal sin among sneaker enthusiasts. So even if the fakes were good enough to pass StockX authentication, they probably would have been denied for having a bad box. I searched high and low for another pair of Yeezy 350s, but everyone I found had problems, like boxes made out of the wrong cardboard, or paper that was too shiny, or they were missing accessories. I got fed up with trying to find a pair that I thought was actually good enough to pass authentication, and opted for plan B. Jordan 1s. As a silhouette that's been around for much longer than the Yeezy 350, fake manufacturers have had quite a bit more time to perfect their designs. After scrolling Reddit's fake sneaker forums for hours, I finally found what was allegedly the best pair of fakes. So $155 to another random PayPal account, and eight days of twiddling my thumbs later, I had the sneakers. Personally, I think that these are really good. I mean, the leather quality is there. The stitching is all nice. You got a little fray on the corner, but I mean, it seems like they're good. So I went over to StockX, and as always, sold them to myself so that no one else would end up with the fakes should they pass. After boxing them up, waiting again, and then waiting some more, we had an answer. Just got out of the shower and uh, found some unfortunate news. The Jordan 1 shadows have failed authentication. Am I surprised that a billion dollar company like StockX succeeded in doing literally the only thing that they claim to do? No. Am I disappointed? Absolutely. I'd tried sending in fakes twice now and both times they'd been rejected. But I knew fakes could get through. I'd seen it all over the internet and everything on the internet is true. I'm gonna give this one more shot, but if it fails, I'm not doing it again. One of these shoes is real, one of them is fake. Which one is which? Can you, can you see any difference? These are fucking good fakes. Like really, really good fakes. Holy shit, I've never seen fakes like this. I keep like looking at stuff and I'm like, dang, that looks janky as shit. And then I look at this one and I got it too. What do you say? I'm not gonna tell you what I see. Well, who gives a shit? You gotta tell for the video. Nope. I will stay a secret. Forever? Yep. I don't think you see anything. If you were to guess, which one would you say is real? Are these the fake? Real quick, would you guys say that these... Pass stock X will fly. You yes. think, you think yeah. they're gonna yeah. pass? Everyone thinks they're gonna pass? 100%. This is the real box. This is the fake one. The labels, other than being a different size, were identical. They both had the same box stamp. Matter of fact, the boxes were exactly the same. These are unbelievably good. Like even the real pair has a little defect right there. The fake pair doesn't have that. 
These are ridiculous. The Nike tag. It's a fake tag, real tag. Okay, if we're talking leather comparison, they're both the same level of cardboard, nasty fake leather. I mean, it's it's a cheap pair of dunks. They're a hundred bucks. Like Nike is not giving you anything special here. The soles, totally the same. These shoes are without a doubt the best fakes I've ever seen. And if there is anything wrong with them, it was in almost irrelevant details. Okay, the paper is slightly different. It's a slightly different shade. The real one has this little sticker and the fake one does not. The stitching on the fake is like ever so slightly frayed. Anyone who complained in the last video that I didn't get a pair of shoes that was a good enough fake, I think we fixed that. So feeling hopeful, I created yet another new StockX account. I said this in the last video and I said it about two minutes ago, but I'm not actually selling these fakes to any random person on StockX. I'm selling them to myself because I've created a second account that has placed a bid and then the first account is accepting that bid. There is no possible way anyone other than me could get these shoes and to prove it to you, I put a sticker inside the box. I'm gonna open up this flap. Put that sticker right there. This is my podcast. I've linked it in the description. Seriously, go check it out. It's pretty good. And there's already over 25 episodes on everything from how to visit North Korea to how I dropped out of school in eighth grade. If you need another reason to listen, we got a 28 foot billboard. No one would ever know. Off to StockX. Got my box. And I'm on the way. Fake shoe's gonna pass StockX this time? No. No? What about you? What do you think, Winnie? If I bought them, they would pass. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm perfectly honest, I wasn't really sure what was gonna happen. I mean, I do now, because I'm editing, and this is the voiceover, but at the time, I really didn't have any idea. If you look closely, you can actually see me thinking these very things while inside the UPS store. All right, now we wait. They did not pass authentication. How? I don't know. I mean, I tried everything that everyone wanted me to do, and we still didn't succeed. So, um, I guess the moral of the story is StockX's authentication is a hell of a lot better than anyone gives them credit for. Are there fakes that go through? Yeah, I'm sure it happens, but I think StockX has shown that they are pretty good. So maybe I'll do eBay next. I have a real gripe with eBay, so this will be a fun one. I don't know when that video is gonna come out, but I've spent, uh, I've spent a lot of money and time making this one. So if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And, um, See you next time.